So let's go murder some uh, scrobolds and uh, be the strongest mans the world ever nudes. So uh, I need the name of a very strong mans. This could be a a male mans or a ladies mans. But we need we need a good name for a strong dungeon mans. What is a nemesis system? Uh, just something that uh, Pee Wee Pee Wee Sherman. <laughs> I could go. I, I I I might do that. All right, fine. Let's go with Pee Wee. Pee Wee's just good, too good. We'll go with Pee Wee He Man. How's that? Pee Wee He Man. I don't like any of these. Hmm. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Axon, not yet. Uh So there's three there's four skills in this game. There's strength with an F. Uh skills, science and foom. They're all listed on the right there. So this game, the reason we're playing it is because once a month, on the first of every month, I put a poll up on my Patreon. And uh, in that poll is a collection of games, which you can vote on if you wish. And the game that wins is a game that I get into over the next month. Uh, last month, the game that won was uh, War Sim. Um, no, Foom is just Foom. It's just Foom. You, you, you must charge more Foom. Mana, magic damage, etc. Um, also, I think we're going to be a wizard man's. Because we have 14 Foom. Uh, use Bolt of Foom to generate mana. Okay, try to keep a little mana in the tank for surprise enemies. For surprise enemies. Okay, good to know. Uh, conjure Ice Block to seal hallways and get some time to recover. That or I could, you know, be anything else. I might just be a dungeon man's. Hmm... Actually, fuck it. I'm going to go with Bannermans. I really enjoyed playing a Bannermans when I played a Bannermans once before. Um, so Bannermans, I put down banners and stab stuff. I really like Southernborn, which just gives me 5% more health. I also really like Book Burner, because who needs to read books to make you smarter? I much prefer to eat books to make me stronger. Uh, find more coin and loot in breakable world item. You know what? Let's do that. Let's go with Scrounger. Um, Pee-wee He-Man. That looks like a Pee-wee He-Man. What do you think? That could also work as a Pee-wee He-Man. Chat, option A or option B? A, B. C? B? You think B? I mean, they're both no shirt. Well, actually, yeah, I guess this guy has, like, a muscle shirt on. That's A. That's B. A? We're saying A? Okay. A it is. Do, 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 do. What do you mean, special training? I don't need no special training. I'm a hero, after all. <clears throat> all right, so um, we, we are a Bannermans. So uh, in my inventory, I have yesterday's knife and a tin steel door spike to lock doors. And I have this pole arm. So we're based around pole arms. I also have some armor. Um, of course, we use real armor. We don't use light armor or medium armor. We use real armor. Um, and uh, I have like this big old light spear thingy, which basically is launch, be, be link and shoot light out of the end of my spear. Um, I have press the attack, which is just smash shit with my hammer or sword. And uh, battle fervor, uh, which requires real armor. And roar into combat with tireless endurance. Basically, it's just, it gives me more dodge and stuff. It's all simple stuffs. Um, and now I can just go to any of these trivial starting fights. Ooh, uh, avoid this encounter, please. Um... So, yeah, we, we go to a trivial starting fight. I think we'll start with the Ookvels. There's plenty of starting dungeons. Once you out-level dungeons, you can just auto-complete them, too. But it's very much classic dungeon crawler. Pick stuff up, loot stuff. And I can do this. 
and it's an artifact from history. Good stuff. So there is some persistence in this game, which I'm not the biggest fan of, I'll be honest. Watch me die to this poison. Uh oh. <laughs> I died to that poison. Anyway, um, that was a really short run. So much for Pee Wee He Man. Level 1 Bannermans. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's, let's go again. Alright, so I, I need another name. I don't think you're alone. You're in a chat room with 75 people. How is that alone? Ukatsumi. I need a better name because I clearly wasn't get uh, that clearly wasn't a good enough name. We need something better. Although to be fair, I didn't really like my starting stats options. P man. <laughs> so you know what's a f funny thing about this game, right? Uh, you can't actually <laughs> you can't actually uh, name yourself the same thing twice in a row. You know what, I think we're gonna go with this. And I'm gonna stick with Bannermans. I'm gonna take the same perks. And you know what, I'll take, op actually, you know what, let's take this guy. Well, mm. You know, I'm gonna take this lady. We're, we're gonna be a, uh, a lady mans in the dungeons. Let's be a lady bannermans. Okay, let's try this again. Yep, you got uh, g gifted a, a lurky sub. The best kind of lurky sub. Cheers, Logos, for lurking. To be able to, to earn a, uh, a lucky gifted sub. Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> let's try this again. And uh, this is... The spirit of Pee Wee He Man was not a very powerful dungeon man. But even the most junior graduate from the academy has the force far stronger than the average man's. Some small essence of Pee Wee He Man lingers here. As you approach, it swirls around you, bestowing what power it can. I like to imagine that Pee Man He Wee is uh, Pee Wee He Man's sister. Ow. Stabby. Considering they are the same class and have similar sounding name things. This is rest. Because we're basically the same character. Although this one's actually kind of stronger at the start. Better starting stats. What, for the mans? I mean, it, we... we, we Dark, we, we wouldn't have been able to call it uh, Florida Man. It would have to be Florida Man's. Well, to, gi to give you an idea on the on the, on the the S's, right? Um, Axon. The developer of this game in an interview that I listened to with him described himself as the programmer man's, working with an art man's, uh, and a music man's. And uh, their art man's was the, the most important man's next to the program man's. And, uh, yes, I don't know, it's just, it's just a shtick. So when you're talking about Dungeon Mans, everything is with the S at the end. Otherwise, it, you're not actually talking about Dungeon Mans. You're talking about some other mans. So let's wait for my energy to come back. There's my way out. Alright, also I leveled up, so I should probably click the blinky thing. Uh... Where's my banners? Bannermans! Uh, what's this one? Ah, yes. 
We're, we'll grab that. And uh, drag you down to here. Put you down there. And throw you up there. One more immediately useful things. Lizard mans. Yeah, well, I mean, there, there are lizard mans. Lizard mans exist. They're not just politicians. Ah. Ooh. Strong hero unit. Also, uh, speaking of mans, Cooler needs access to his own emotes. So someone should help that mans out. Thanks, Hobo. You demands. <sighs> Jack, can I get a round of beers? For Cooler having access to his own emotes again. For those of you who don't know, Cooler does all the art for the stream. So uh, all of the thumbnails and stuff that you see are uh, done by Cooler. I now have a skirt. Excellent. I have Terry boots. Uh, which are terrible. And a proof of strength. So I'm going to go proof my strength. Hobo is gift mans. Yes, Hobo is indeed gifts mans. Uh, I've brought relics back to the academy. There you go. And take the proof of strength. And, uh, can you identify all my shit? That'd be cool. Uh, yeah, let's just go get rid of some of my shit. Um, I've put everything I'm carrying into a fire. Thank you. And then we're going to go to the convenient scribbled Warren. It's so convenient. Some roguelikes gives based on character. How's this game do it? So this game has two options. Um, this game has what I call meta progression, which I actually don't like all that much. Oh, fucked up. I didn't mean literally everything. At least I have an ax now. Um, Cool, now I have a pole arm. Never mind, we're no longer fucked up. I can use my abilities again. Um, so, the, generally, I, I like games that don't offer any rewards for failing. Um, I think that the, the skill cap should be solely based around the player's ability to beat the game. That being said, I like options. The way this game does it is it has an academy, which is the area that I just ran back to, which is sort of like your headquarters. Um, you can take loot from a that uh, is part of a specific set and uh, store it at the academy and come back and get it later on a different character. Um, you can find the bodies from past characters and uh, uh, what's the word? And they'll give you a little XP boost for X amount of time. Um, but it's actually pretty minimal. Like I'm not super fond of the system by default. That being said, the game is completely beatable without that system, and you can completely ignore it. So that's how this game does it. Um, there is meta progression, but you're also not punished for ignoring it, which is a benefit for me. I was going to say, I hope you didn't poison me. You didn't. So there, there is some meta progression, but I'm kind of ignoring most of it. Like, I could upgrade my later characters, but instead of upgrading my later characters... Because what, what I could do, um, I went and melted down all of my gear, right? Um, at the blacksmith, what I could do is I could 
spend that money on making my next character start off with better stuff. I could do that. Um, but instead what I'm doing is I'm saving it so I can buy upgrades and perks for my items. I much prefer to do it that way than um, the other way, which I think is way less interesting. Personally, I think that that stuff's way less interesting. Um, so, yeah. It, it kind of lets you customize your difficulty a little bit, which is cool. They also have the Pay to Lose DLC, uh, which just straight up makes the game way harder and gives you way more difficulty options if you want that. So if you want the game to just, like, rip your nuts off difficulty-wise, you could do that too. It's actually kind of a, a really neat little value proposition with all the options it provides. Because, like, traditional roguelikes are, like, for lack of a better term, fucking punishing. And some people don't want to deal with that shit. Yeah, no, totally. I mean, another game that does that sort of stuff a little bit is... Tome, Tales of Majal, does a little bit of that stuff. That guy's powered up. He must have killed one of my characters before. Yeah, Tome has a vault system too. Um, like, Tome, Tome has a, a method of passing items between characters and also has, like, unlocks. Items that you will unlock that you'll start with after a bit. Um, and you can also turn on, like, basically tourist mode. This game has all of that, so... It's actually very similar to Tome in the way it does stuff, where it still has the traditional roguelike base, but if you want to just, like, shut that stuff down, you could do that too. So that character was legendary, or notorious, meaning it had either killed one of my characters or, like, been near one of my characters who died in the past, and so I got a proof of strength for killing it, which is, like, basically a big old bonus. You got too many blocks. I don't like that. And I can turn the tr the proofs of strength in to the um, academy leader and or headmaster, I guess. And uh, I get bonuses for doing that. It's neat. I don't know. It's. I was worried I was going to hate it when I initially started playing it because I don't generally like the meta progression stuff, but it's it exists in such a way that I can ignore it. Your man's at arms banner now weakens attacks of foes under its shadow. Sweet. So I have this banner that I haven't actually used yet. Well, in range of this banner, your enemies receive a 20% penalty to hit, basically. Um, and now it has more effects. So I can, like, place these banners down anywhere. So here, I'll just show you. Bonk. Now he's got that Big old debuff. Your man's at arms. Stonk. I'd actually like to ask the developer of this game what, what his take is on uh, Warner Brothers. <laughs> copywriting the nemesis system and if he's at all worried have you ever messed around with the arena in tome axon because i know i've unlocked that and i've literally never touched any of it Ooh, me crush you like egg. Oh boy. Well, he's up. He's up in the top right. He's actually not that strong. So, first boss in game. Not generally scariest boss in game. So, let's just kill this slime and rest. All right. Round of beers for this boss chat. I think I broke the music. This is my favorite roguelike on the Citadel. Got him. Do 
Yeah, I broke the music. Bonk. Da 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 da. It's the first time that's happened. Can you identify all my items? Thank you. Uh, I brought relics. You've expanded the alchemy lab to level three. The best it can possibly be. Congratulations, you've unlocked the grand chemistress sprite for future dungeon mans in the in the alchemy. Which means I, I, I can, in future in the academy, uh, I can, I now have a different character model. Uh, future graduates can visit the alchemy lab to have potions up to tier three, pre-identified. Also, there are bonus potions waiting for you in the alchemy war chest. That's the meta progression layer. And I can completely ignore it if I want to. Here's the like here's the real thing. Peter is you should uh, sell access to the document that you use to calculate the odds. Just like run a, a third party odds site basically. He parried me. You asshole. I like pole arms a lot. Can hit multiple things at once and it feels real good. We should sell all the knowledge. Yeah. I don't know if anybody would pay for it, but. Rebel's Leather. Antiseptic Sturdy Terra Boots. Poison Resist. Ooh. Do, 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 do. I do have some fancy weapons, but not super helpful for me on my build. Find a lot of flip flops. Fancy skirt. <laughs> uh, I, I will tell my mom happy birthday from random person on in the stream, and she will be happy probably. Holy shit. Mild poison my ass. That was like half my HP. That was not nothing. I do wish this game didn't have uh, respawning enemies, though. That's like my biggest complaint. Is enemies respawn in the dungeon, and it's really annoying. Just deal with you. Kill you. Also, chat heads up. Investments are open on the topic of tickets. Meaning you should invest your tickets now. Ooh. 
that real armor? That is some really nice armor. Look at that versus the armor I'm currently wearing. That's a bit of an upgrade. I'll take it. Glittering Aruric Ar Brew. Huh, what does it do? I don't know. Better shoes. I'll take those too. Plated skirt. I'll take that too. Dungeon crowbar. <laughs> it's, it's a big hammer. Need a better pole arm. It's real armor, yeah. Not, not None of this fake, like, little kid's armor. It's real armor. I could wear uh, medium armor or light, ar or light armor, but instead I choose to wear real armor. It actually took me a minute to figure out what the best, like, heavy armor equivalent was in this game because of that wording. I actually found it very confusing initially. <laughs> so I was like, wait, what? But I want heavy armor. It's like, no, you want real armor. I'm like, what? <laughs> it took me a second, and then I felt really dumb. But that's part of the, the game's humor, kind of. So yeah, if you want to vote on the games that I play on Patreon, it's $1 a month to get that tier. Or like, you know, $12 a year, I guess. Get out of here. Huh. All right. There we go. This is interesting. I'll take that scroll. Let me see what you have for sale. I would gladly take that beautiful book, but uh, I cannot afford that beautiful, be beautiful book. Um, I wonder if you can... Do you have scrolls of bees, please? Please buy all of my non-magical, non-equipped gear. Deal. It's a terrible payout, actually, but... Oh, you're only level 3? That's not too bad. I got a proof of strength. I'm smacking walls looking for secrets. Pasa. I'm just going to wait for that to go away. Bendy Iron Heater. Huh? No, it's a shield. Weird. Man, I really hope I get a better pole arm soon. Oh, thank you. That's very convenient of you. Pull me right over to you. That's a mini cloak, meaning I could probably wear that. Oh, no, never mind. That's light armor. I can only use real armor. Good wins to those of you who invested. Also, chat, I'm kind of just like leaving this up to you. If I start talking about the Patreon shit too much at any point, feel free to let me know. Just be all like, yo, Blind, you brought that up twice this hour. Like, come on, man. I'm not going to give you money. And I'll be like, okay, I get it. It is something I genuinely worry about, though, and ask my mods about every so often. It's like, am I doing this too much? And usually the response I get is, yeah. Bark skin. It makes my uh, my skin into a dog, and then it barks. Oh, you know it. Be like. Speaking of uh, too often, um, some people have asked me to add a higher tier to the Patreon. Um, so I am 
I've instructed Cooler, or not Cooler, uh, B-Lug to make a really stupid tier for the Patreon. Really stupid being um, a, uh, a a tier where, where you guys can activate uh, Texas speech whenever you want, basically. Um, I need to level up, so I should probably do that. We're going to activate that. And um, essentially, uh, what that's going to do is uh, be limited to a really small number of people and also be really expensive. Also, I am about to die. Should have used uh, healing first. Bring out your dead. <laughs> nah. <sighs> All right, I need a new name. Dr. Salad Tacos. That's like too normal. How about Sir Salad Tacos? Never mind. I don't like any of these. We're going to boot out Sir Salad Tacos. Uh, Gro Grognar the Wistful. Much better. I'm going to stick with Bannerman's. I'm going to go Southernborn Book Burner. And we'll go with this guy. This man's. Mm -hmm. To the overworld. And you know what? Let's go with Thrud. No well. Hmm. I just found an item on the overworld. What? It's a one-handed hammer. Huh. And an iron beat stick. Would you look at those. Two shitty hammers. I'll stick with my sticks. Chat, can I get a round of beers for Grognar the Wistful? We'll see how long Grognar lasts. Ooh, book. That could save my life. If I had a book last time, that would have saved my life. I also had really good armor drops last time. I have even better stats this time, though. So I can eat that book. Tasty, tasty book. Fortunately, like, even when you die, it doesn't take too long to get back into the action. We're almost about to level up already. And there's a good variety of starting dungeons, so you don't feel like you lose much. See? You level up pretty quick. Come on, chat. We can get a couple more beers than that. Actually, it's cheaper than $12 a year, Axon, to be specific. To just vote in the polls. It's cheaper than $12 a year. Mm 
Because you get an 8% discount, so it's actually like 11-something. Let's see how we're doing items-wise. Splinter Grip Chopper. More Tin Steel. Plated Skirt. Artifact from History. Some Scrolls. Beat Stick. Nothing that I can actually use. I think I like the name of the last character more, so I'm kind of sad that I died. But it's okay. I'm sure that the, the spirit of her will... Of the wondrous dungeon... Dungeon woman's... Will help us in the future. Please come to me. Nyomp. Ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. It's a poncho. I have a poncho. Gives me armor and dodge. Good stuff. Made some rice. Ooh, did you put anything on that rice? So this is a little bit of a harder start. So it's listed as adventurous, which will technically level us faster than starting in the trivial dungeons. So this we are we're we're leveled for this, but not quite, if that makes sense. We could certainly go an easier route for this than we have. What you putting on that pizza, Darren? I don't know what I'm having for dinner tonight. Probably pasta. Pasta and some onions or something. So I got a lot of onions. Ooh, that hurt. Do do. Do 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 do. There we go. That's what I needed. I was like, I think that's going to level me up. Which it did. Let's grab my other banner just so I don't forget about it. Bloody hell and Tossa. That's all they have to say. Free food for the poor once a month. That's what you gotta do. I grew up on lentils from those places. Those bombs feel very ineffective for as scary as they look. Like they barely do anything. I picked up Encounters at Random, which is the name of that book. Sounds like a book about a JRPG. But then again, roguelikes have some some uh, random encounters as well. Yeah. You parried me. How dare you. <laughs> hey, chat. What do you think? Should we try and just run the boss? Or should we go back to, uh... Should we, basically, should we play it safe or just fucking go? What, what do we think? Play it safe or fucking go. Mm 
Uh, plated, that's the same. Fucking go, okay. That just means you guys won't care if I die horribly then. Hmm, just gonna go hide back here. And rest. Balls to the walls. Uh, I'm sure that uh, Grognar the Wistful certainly has many balls on the walls. Bloody hell, wanker, and tosser. That's all they have to say. That's always their last words. They're not very creative. Donk. Donk. Oh, boy. I don't like this much. Ate a book. Sometimes you just gotta eat a good book, you know what I'm saying? It's funny, I'm I'm regretting my decision to just go balls deep. I need to go back and it figure out what my potions are. <laughs> like the only thing that I have really to like save myself right now is uh the only thing I really have to save myself is um books which are pretty effective at that but I just need to go figure out what all my shit does that's the main problem that I'm having right now oh hey didn't explore this area Now I did. Mm -hmm. Let's go figure out what this shit does. Meow. Do 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 do. There we go. Now I know what all my stuff does. Which is literally all I needed. I just need to know which ones are health potions and which ones are poison potions. So when I drink the thing, I don't dry, I don't die, you know? And also, like, what's the potion of the battle champion, which is also a very important potion. Especially for, like, getting through bosses effectively. You need to know exactly how many potions of the battle champions you have. And how many scrolls of bees you have. Very important scrolls, frankly. Alright, we can get back down now. That I've cleared the side area. As always, just thank you everybody for hanging out and watching. Not a lot of channels who just quite literally get to play whatever the fuck they want on the internet. And do okay. And you know what? We do okay. Are we the biggest channel on Twitch? Nah. That bee just opened a door. I'm concerned. <laughs> When bees start opening doors, that's when you know the world's ending. That's when you know we're all fucked.
Also, if I'm playing too fast, chat, let me know. Ooh. Much fancier skirt. Doo, 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 doo. There's a lizard, mans. All right. This might be a bit too high level for me. That, or I'm going to level up really fast. I did just get much better armor, though. Are you going to come to me? Nope. Okay, fine. I'll just do that to you, then. Oh, that's a uh, shield, which isn't part of my build. Hate gelatinous cubes. Can't fucking stand gelatinous cubes. I screwed up. Should have waited. There we go. That's what we needed. Da -da 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 -da. Break the line. A fury of par alarm strikes that will knock back melee attackers. That is a very nice one. Move all this down. Bring you over. Still need a better pole arm, but... Because, like, look how little damage I'm doing. <laughs> Fucking nothing. Scribbled workout bandana. Reduces stamina cost for powers. Cool. I now have a workout bandana on. I'm not much of a ninja. I'm more of, like, a zerker barbarian. But there are ninja classes in this. You know, I'm not going to lie. These guys were part of the reason I didn't play this game for the last few days. I hate fighting those guys so much. Fucking hate fighting those guys. Wait. There's monsters. It's just a bloke with a sword. Weird def definition of monster, but okay. Is that a rare thing, Cooler? I don't know what a universal medallion is. Also, Warframe's having drops again? Or are they just, like, always having drops now? There's some studios now that I feel like every time I look at them, they're like, yep, drops. Drops always happen. Have people learned to love drops on Warframe yet? Because I feel like every time I like pay attention to what communities think of, think of drops, communities always hate them initially. Like, I know the BDO people hated them initially. I I know the Tarkov people hated them initially. Ow. Is that a pole arm?
If it was, it's not very good. Okay, well, I got two mysterious rings. All right, I need to, I need to get out of here. We got to go identify some shit. Maybe go buy a, a weapon. That's TMI. I don't need to know how often you're using the toilet. All right, we're heading to that upstairs. Stab you in the face. We're pretty much done with that area, though, which is good. Back to the Dungeon Man's Academy briefly. Pop up to here to boss to, uh, my bags are overflowing with shit. To the overworld. Excuse me, sir. I would like to spend these coins. Do you have no pole arm? You suck. I hate this shop. Worst shop in the entire town. You sell silly books for reading? Who would do that? Ah. You have staves. Well, those are also not helpful to me. Boo. Does anybody have real weapons for real men? I will buy some healing potions though. I'm very disappointed at the lack of pole arms. Seriously, the heck's up with this shit? Shit's a racket. To the other world. Let's deal with this. This is just a small event area. I can murder these bandits and help the local economy by murdering the bandits. Oopsies, that's the wrong button. I meant to hit R. Literally just waiting for my stamina to come back so I can just very easily pop these guys like this. back up and go all the way back to here. How are we doing out there, chat room? Are we feeling like a longer stream tonight or a chiller stream? But don't bow. So I've probably got the energy to do a longer stream. There we go. This is final boss man's Um, champion potion and crunch on some delicious books.
That kind of sucks. First piece says rolled out. Are you, wait, you're rolling a pizza? Question, if the pizza rolls, does it rock? I have a hat. 4% increased base health, good stuff. And then a bunch of shit I can't use. Hobo down for Longstrom. Hmm. Intriguing. Well, I mean, it's all, it's all up to you guys, really. If we want a longer stream, we could do a longer stream. Depends if it's crunchy or not. Whether or not it rocks or rolls. I mean, what 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 would crust be cr cr crunchy have to do with it rocking or rolling? Man, I could, I want fucking takeout, dude. That's something that I miss. It's takeout. Then order takeout? Nah, it's not worth the risk. Not everybody's vaccinated yet, Ming. Literally, like, just out of fear, I haven't ordered takeout much because of that. It's like, I've ordered takeout a grand total of, like, maybe three times in 2020. You're half vaccinated as of today? Well, cool. I won't be until probably August. Maybe later. Because of how badly my country is fucking up. Mm -mm. Well, here's the thing, Alien Slayer. It's kind of a flexible relationship with the stream lengths, right? If people want longer streams and hang out for longer streams and are chatting a lot, and, um, and I, I will stream longer. Like, I can just, just kind of keep going. It's all kind of up to you guys. Generally, when I end my stream, it's because chat gets quiet. <laughs> It's usually how this, this goes, so it's not a... Like, I can just stream. That's very rarely an issue. And Alien, thank you very much for keeping that subscription alive for a fifth month. Restaurants almost basically never stop service here. Yeah, that's not a good thing, though. I mean, they, they did here for, like, a week. <laughs> that's kind of exaggeration. They did here for a brief period. Um, not very long, though. I don't know how much HP you have. 45. I should really just do this. <laughs> That's the smart thing to do. Let's just leave the floor. Just heal. I'm not sure when that was. Jack, can I get a round of beers for Alien Slayer keeping that sub alive for fifth month? Uh, no, my uh, province is just getting basically no vaccinations. Uh, seniors are getting them, but uh, it's going by age, not by risk. So odds are real good. I straight up just won't get a vaccination until the end of summer. Odds are real good. I just straight up won't get a vaccination until the end of summer. It's got nothing to do with how at risk you are. It's literally a, we just don't have enough vaccinations. It's that simple. Fuck. 
All right, using the champion potion. God, I need a better weapon. This is trash. I think I might actually go do the Scrollbold Warren. What the hell? Yeah, I'm gonna go do the Scrollbold Warren. Why do you think I've been so down recently, Hobo? Yeah. It's because like I straight up know I'm gonna have another year of not being able to go outside. Like that's that's literally the reason I I've been in such a shitty state recently is because like, oh well, my province did really well, right? Um, in like overall number of infections, like compared to the rest of the country, even we did extremely well. And our reward is we are the lowest priority to get vaccines. Everywhere else in the country is getting them faster. So everywhere else, everywhere else, else and everyone else, everywhere else in the world who did worse are getting priority because there's more people who need it. So I'm over here just like, man, it'd be real cool to like, you know, be able to go outside, but nope, I'm a young person who's at risk, meaning I am just at, I'm this exact same priority as any other young person, which is like fucking awesome. So that's the reason I've been so fucking surly recently and like a bit more grumpy and moody than normal is because like quite literally it's a, yeah, I get to do another year of lockdown. I wish I agreed with that cooler. I genuinely do. I'm just gonna power through this area just to grind up some gear. And potions. Of some R M uh, RPG with a bunch of puzzles and low levels. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know. If anything, like, the visuals of this game are kind of one of the things I like the least. <laughs> I, f I feel like the visuals of this game are a little bit generic, actually. But, yeah, no, I mean, my, my grandmother is... Both of my grandmothers have had their fir first... Well, my Oma on my mom's side has had both of her injections, and my grandmother on my dad's side has had one of her injections. So it's like... Seniors are getting them, but seniors are getting them. Young people aren't, unless you work on the front lines, which is totally fair, but... <sighs> I don't want to do this for another year. I really, really don't. But I don't really have much of an option, so. I guess be fucking happy if you're in a place that, uh, didn't pay attention to any of the rules and fucked everybody over and caused a lot of infections because it just means you get vaccinations sooner. Good for you. <laughs> That's where I'm at mentally on the whole subject. It's just pissed off. Um, Man, the things I would give. I like literally haven't gotten a single good pole arm drop. I, unless I'm like missing something. Come on. Uh, you'll remember the name of it in like four days and not remember why you wanted to remember the name of it. If you're anything like me, Axon. I've gotten like four healing potions in my time down here though. Doom, 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 doom. I don't like that. 
do less damage to take less damage. Plus one foom. Plus five bonus dodge. I'll take that though. I was gonna. I was just about to ask. Like, did the mystery dungeons have any uh, puzzles in them? It may have been a mystery dungeon game. Lots of colors. That's very, very not descriptive, but... He wasn't playing Elonia, was he? Not really a JRPG, but... Vibrant colors aren't exactly like an uncommon trait in video games, though. Terra boots plus one. They are plus one better. I like that these guys can just heal themselves. It's kind of funny. Already up to adventurous. That's interesting. It's funny because I don't really think of this area as adventurous at all. It's like tutorial zone. There we go. Big baddie. Bees, please. I'm gonna kill you with bees. I might actually just kill him with bees. Got him. Elonia? E-L-O-N-I-A? I think? Chat, how do you spell Elonia? It's a roguelike, so. But Elonia kind of looks like this game visually. Wasn't a roguelike? Okay, well then I don't know. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's go clear this area again. Or rather, no, not this one. <laughs> the other one. Gotta leave. Um. Got more scrolls of bees, please. Let's bolster my shield. I've also got the scroll of combat blinking. We're doing all of the stabby stabbies. We're trying to, anyway. I keep having to run away from this dungeon, though. I now poison shit. Bum, bum. Where's these stairs? Oh. Up and to the left. Yeah. 
But yeah, so I guess kind of just finishing up the topic from earlier. The reason I'm kind of down all the time when the subject of being outside things happen, you, you got to realize that I'm in a bit of a different situation, I think, than a lot of people, unfortunately. And it's not something that I'm like throwing at you guys specifically or anything. It's just frustrating for me. Personally, that's all it is. Armor drops. Hmm. I know the better skirt and bronzed clogs. So, Bastet, I mentioned this earlier. I don't need to know when you use the restroom. It's all good. Especially if it's like frequent. You're just gonna worry me. Just do what you gotta do. You don't need to tell me about it. It's TMI. Um Okay. Let's just snap you like that. Oops, that's not what I wanted. But it are. Yeah, that doesn't change the fact that I don't want to know, right? <laughs> Just because you're not shy about it doesn't make me want to know, and it's not fair of you to impose that information on other people. Please don't tell me when you go use the restroom. I don't need to know. I really hate fighting these things. I need to use healing potion and blood glue brew, which will stop me from bleeding. That bloody tosser line, yeah. It's funny because they're tossing you. It's funny because they pick you up and throw you when they call you a tosser. That's why it's funny. There we go. For what it's worth, I won't be fighting these guys too much longer. Or I'll die, and I'll keep fighting them. Get out of here, assassin from another universe. Do, 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 do. Got him. Sometimes I just gotta channel my inner Legend of Zelda and break all the barrels. Huh. You got me out of a sticky situation. Thanks, man. I'm gonna just use a healing potion. Still need a better pole arm. Literally any other pole arm would be better than this. That helps. Still need a better pole arm. Do, 
do 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 Make my banners better. At least it's not the weird bloody line. What, like... I mean, you can thank Harry Potter for using bloody in literally everything. Because everything is bloody hell. Like, you can literally thank the JK Rowling for that shit. Because everything is bloody hell. Trying to wait and get my energy back. Do, 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 do. Mysterious ring. Ow. You can hear it in your head. Yeah. And all the only sound it makes is JK Rowling's an idiot. Fuck JK Rowling. Bitch. Damn. Bloody hell. Bloody it's kind of funny, though. Hmm. Fair enough. I can respect that, just like I don't need to know how often people use the restroom. <sighs> Another rich person bites the dust. There's so many. More than we could reasonably count. Mm-hmm. No, totally. I, n I completely sympathize, Stone. Just sitting here and waiting on a better pole arm. The second I get a better pole arm, I'm just gonna wreck fucking face. Guess we're going up. Top side. moment there, I thought I was poisoned. That's the boss room right there on the right. until healed. Yes, please. Trying to rest until healed again. All right, what do we have in the inventory? Leveled up my bitey venomous staff now. Do I what do I have for books slash potions? 
Uh, five healing potions, useless mana potions. Use a armor potion. Let's push you back. Bring you back over here. Here, friend. Have some bees. Got him. Depends on how Catholic you are. If you're if you're super Catholic, it's definitely a swear. If you're a normal human being from the 21st century, no, it's not really a swear. Was that a 100% win ratio? Another great victory for the Academy and the Dungeons Mans. Uh, you should be proud. Now pick up whatever that cut rate trash mob dropped. Still no better staff for me. Eh, I'll get out of here. Do, 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 do. Ah! Auto complete shit. See if these guys have a shop that'll sell me a pole arm. You guys have a shop that'll sell me a pole arm? Ooh. I'm gonna buy one of those. Um. Please buy all of my non-magical, non-equipped items. Deal. Really? What's up, Tone? If you ever want to watch somebody who's good at video games, you should watch Tone. How's the dungeon mans? I am mansing the dungeons. I'm looking for a better polearm. Nobody has a polearm for sale. It's making me very sad. I can't find a drop of a polearm. Can't do anything. I might actually have to go craft a fucking polearm, which I don't want to do if I can avoid it. But we are manzing our way through the dungeons. Jack, can I get a round of beers for Tonehack? And also, mods, can I get a shout out, please and thanks? Oh, that would be cool. No pole arms. <sighs> How about over here? Still no bloody pole arms. Random garbage, but no pole arms. I'm a banner man's, so uh, we we use pole arms. All my abilities are based around pole arms. <laughs> Do you guys have anywhere I could buy a pole arm? That looks like a delicious bookshop, but um, not what I need. Please buy all of my non-magical, non-equipped loots. Deal. Will you sell me a pole arm, please? Nope. You do have uh, armor that I can't use, though, so that's not useful. <laughs> it really does have very nice tiles. It's like a prettier-looking tome set of tiles. Like, if Tome looked as nice as this, or also another game this the game looks kind of similar to visually is um, Rogue Empire. 
It's a game I feel like nobody played. Uh, let me see what you have for sale. Nothing that I've done. Well, I mean, I can buy all your healing potions. Uh, your li a liquid bandage. Bark skin. Because who doesn't want dog skin? But seriously, though. <laughs> seriously, though. Can someone fucking sell me? <laughs> a fucking goddamn anything. Why is that even a question, Axon? Oh no! That's not good, Ryan. Oh, also, Ryan, uh, EDF on uh, Saturday or Sunday, whenever Hobo's free. Friday's me mom's birthday, so. Just stop it, wait. Stop that. Just stop that. Thank you. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get out of here for a second because I want to go. It really depends on what rating you want. If you don't want an M rating, then there's a limit. Otherwise, do whatever you want. And yeah, just go play fucking Grand Theft Auto. Let's go put some stuff into a fire. I don't have any blueprints. I need to find some blueprints. Melt down all of it. There you go. Um, and then I'd like to buy some hammers to upgrade my shit. Let's buy bitey and blazing. Now my polearm is bitey. And it exploded. I now have no weapon. The hammer crushes Grognar, Wistful, Super Bitey, Venomous, Spit Swaller, the plus two, into pieces in a violent cloud of greed and pressed luck. I was trying to make it actually damage some shit, but uh, no. All right, fine. I'll buy some upgrade hammers then. Let's buy a bitey and a blazing. No. I'll buy a bitey and a... Uh... Bitey and a chill. So I'll freeze things and make them bleed. But currently, I'm just punching stuff. Unless it has penis entering vagina, you're basically not an AO game, though. Bloody. I'm really hoping I get some sort of pull arm from here. <laughs> I'm literally just punching these people to death. Because I can't use any of my abilities right now. Still think those guys sound like Waluigi. It's very funny to me. Lordy. Lordy. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, I, I, I could wield uh, a sword or something if I had one. But I literally just melted them all down, so I, I literally have no weapons in my inventory to wield, even if I wanted to. Fortunately, I can still do that. I can still summon bees! 
I do love the descriptor of the bees, please scroll, which is literally just, you are the worst person. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, you know it. I wish I had more scrolls of bees, please, but I just don't. Well, that does no damage. Um, hmm. Can I punch you to death, or will you win? This game really is dumb fun. This game doesn't have a strength stat. It has strength with an F. I'm wasting expensive potions on this fucking guy. Grumpy. Yay, he dropped the polearm, though. It's actually a better polearm than I had before. And a two-handed sword. All right, I'm going to add Bitey to my, pole, to my new polearm. And uh, chill to my Bitey new polearm. Hopefully it's not cursed. Uh, it's uh, it's <laughs> hammered times two. It's been hammered twice um, because I upgraded it with upgrade hammers, so it's been hammered twice. Uh, it does 1d6 plus 4. So at least I can use my abilities now. <laughs> so that's a nice little bonus. Uh, let's also throw a bolster weapon onto my bitey chill weapon. That weapon can no longer be bolstered by scrolls. Sometimes causes bleeding. Mm -mm -mm. Eh, let's just finish this area. Yeah, it's nice to actually have my weapon again. So now I can do this again. Do, 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 do. Wow, 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 wow. Also, the power curve on this game is kind of bonkers. Like... You'll just be like, oh, hey, I have 50 HP. That feels like a lot. And then you level up three more times. You're like, oh, I have 500 HP. <laughs> Holy shit. This game's all about acceleration in everything. Thonk. Boop. See, it's much more effective running around with an actual weapon than, like, no weapon. Even if it's not a particularly good one. This game's also got a pretty, like, easy learning curve. Because it's very simplified stats-wise. Certainly not the best roguelike ever made that I've ever played. But it's, 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 it's got charm. It's some dumb fun, as Ryan just said. I'm just gonna wait for you here. Bastard. That and they're kind of smart. They'll, like, try and avoid, like, just getting murdered by you immediately. Healing potion. What's up? Boop. Mm -mm. Enjoy your lurks, Ryan. There's probably a secret along there. Bottom. Yeah, there totally is. That's what that question mark was, was I'm detecting a secret. Eh, maybe not. Maybe it's like up here. Oh. Powered up slime? 
Drop the proof of strength. Da. I'm gonna back up from that door. And I'm, uh... Where's that? There we go. You. Go there. And I'm just gonna rest. Because you can, like, basically doorstop doors, which is what I just did. Door stopping doors is a good method of not having to deal with them right away and getting to wait for a few turns while they break the door stop down. It's quite helpful when they just bring you right over to them, though. It's really annoying when they bounce you around for, like, five minutes straight. Although this game does have a screen shake, which I very much recommend you turn the hell off. Because it's annoying as shit. How much of the map am I missing? Quite a bit, potentially. Eh, we're just adventurous. We can go. I caused bleeding! Because I sometimes cause bleeding. It's really nice giving the baddies bleeding. Yeah, I like the pull arms because I get to hit two things at once. It's nice getting to hit two things at once. Uh, I should just have this. I can hate these things. He says he should just have this, but he clearly doesn't. I need to eat a book. Shoutouts to Mans at Arms. I don't know how that ice was bleeding, but that ice was just bleeding. Man's at Arms was the, the book that I ate, and it saved my life. Should be here Saturday. So are, are you planning on doing something tonight? Or is, the, or is this just like a you'll wait till Saturday? Do... My bot doesn't capitalize usernames. My bot doesn't capitalize anything because it doesn't know that it's a name. We'd have to tell them that it's a name. You're super dusty. All right. You do what you want to do, man. For those of you who don't know, uh, over on my Discord, maybe I'll do one tonight, actually. Over on my Discord, uh, I do secret streams, sort of, uh, where I stream records. That I don't have the rights to play on Twitch. And there's a few other people. Rhinestone's one of them, but Pilot Guy is another one. Who will sometimes play records as well on my Discord. Who have the rights to post in that room. So if you'd like to catch one of those kind of secret music streams at some point, join the Discord. Fight gauntlets! Who doesn't want to wear, wear fight gauntlets? I want fight gauntlets. I now have fight gauntlets. You haven't had time to tune in yet? It's very low stress to join, too, because everybody's automatically muted in the room. It's supposed to be like a... Not something that people feel upset to do. I mean, I play some random shit, too. So, sometimes it's jazz. Sometimes it's like talking heads. <laughs> sometimes it's stoner music from Australia. Sometimes it's, it's all over the place, really. Like how much those guys hurt. The Jibba snaps. They hurt more than I'm comfortable with them hurting. 
Oh, that's fucking good. It's about goddamn time. I know a few people who it took forever for it to arrive. Specifically people in um, Australia. I'm... Just going to walk away, actually. Those guys hurt. I don't like that. I mean, we can do more Hamilton's Pharmacopia Nights. We just need people to show up for it. Like, we can totally stream more YouTube videos. That's, that's not something that uh, we can't do. It's just Ryan, me and Rhinestone have been busy. That's all. Or rather, I think Rhinestone's just been busy. It's just kind of his thing. This one's enchanted with something. Plus 10% to total block, so it is slightly better. We'll take that. Your ability to maintain awake is failing. You should go to sleep then. I will see you on the uh, on the Saturdays for the day forts if you if your ability to be awake happens to be during my stream time. Medium armor. It's not real armor. I love the fact that I can both poison and bleed ice. <laughs> oh, it's very amusing for some reason. Do, 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 do. Come to me, slime. There's a worker bee back there. He's going to start building blockades. I love the worker bees. They don't really damage you, but they're very annoying if you're trying to fight a bunch of enemies in that room that he decides to build in. Is that a pole arm? That it is indeed. It's not as good as mine, though. I'm willing to sacrifice myself to stream the show perfectly legally. I mean, there's no illegal activity going on anywhere. Ryan, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm gonna leave. All of the debuffs. Also, the best level up animation in just any video game ever, potentially. Uh, banner power. Your man at arms banner now also prevents you from being moved outside by outside forces. Uh, nothing can be spawned, summoned, or teleported under the banner. That's great, actually. Taking that. Ow. Holy shit. 
Yeah, there's um, another setting that I had turned off initially when I first installed this game, which I've since turned on, which I'm very thankful I've turned on, which is camera automatically follows uh, your character. Instead of like him just flying and then the camera moving later. Because I did certainly have a few moments where I completely lost the location of my character versus the stuff around me. Ow. Crusader hammer. Man, those hammers hit so fucking hard. Like, look at how much damage that shit does. Kind of just want to use that. What do the flags do? They give me buffs and give the enemies debuffs. It's my class. I'm a bannerman. It's like a banana man, but less fruity. is probably the boss floor. Mm -mm -mm. Wait, what? I guess I'm over here now. Okay. Die, Lizardmans. Uh. I'm gonna door this. I'm gonna spike this door real quick. Um. that and I have all these up god those bees when they're frenzied are a little bit nuts all right I think that's that area clear. Oh, not quite. I'm just gonna wait until... Ow. You're dead. Take you out. Pop. This guy kind of makes me want to get more fire resist, actually, because those guys can hurt sometimes. What the hell are you? Viridian Helmed Pounce Biter. Sounds delicious. I wonder what it's like with butter and salt. Sometimes you just gotta eat a shelled pound spider, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, well, let's try upside first. 
Uh, sure. Anybody have some bees? Does anybody want some bees? I'd really like a scroll of bees, please. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna combat blink. I'm just gonna boop. Let's knock you back. Slam you, break you. Uh. All right. It's like I just need lots and lots of stamina here. Pop you back, smack you. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Smack you, smack you. Pick all this up. Break you. Okay. Oh, hey, it's the thing I stepped on. I just discovered another one. I don't like the random teleporters in this dungeon. I don't like this at all. Just wait a couple turns. Mm -hmm. I need to use a champion potion. I don't want to, but I need to. See, that's why I don't like the dashes. Because <laughs> they make the screen, like, fuck up sometimes. Let's just wait until I stop bleeding. Have I played other, other seven day RLs? I've played four? But one of them, the tiles were, like, too small for me to actually see. Uh, favorite one so far is Stardude. Just because of how well made it is. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I've got three videos that are scheduled to go up on YouTube in the next few days. And I'll do more. As I see ones that seem interesting. But I'm not going to do all of them or anything. I tried to do that last year and fuck that shit. Ow. He went full DBZ for a second there. Powered up and everything. His hair didn't go yellow, though. Mm -hmm. Although nothing has really, like, super caught my eye from 7 Day RL this year. Like, there was a few last year. Like, there was a mech one last year, which was really cool. A few others that were like, oh my god, I, I need to play this, but... I haven't seen any immediately this year that are like, oh, I need to play that. So if there are any particularly cool ones that you'd recommend, stick them in the roguelike section of my Discord so I know to check them out because there's just so much. It's just, I don't know, kind of hard to actually get to everything if that, if that makes any sense. Fuck these bees. They're so loud. Might actually turn down the effects because of them. <laughs> Why do you ask, though? Lemonade. <sighs> One thing that I didn't expect, though, was uh, I streamed them in the games and demos section of Twitch. And I actually had a weirdly large number of people who were like, I have a game. It looks like shit. And it's on uh, itch.io. Please play it. Here's Link. 
And then I'm like, but I didn't offer you that. I'm not just playing any game. Gotta love invisible enemies, eh? Heal. I love that the slimes can open doors. It's such a fucking funny mental image. Come from behind, you respawning bastards. That is my biggest complaint about this game, though, is the respawning enemies. Fucking hell. This guy has a corners, man. Get shot in the back for clearing a dungeon. Exactly, yeah. I, I will never like that mechanic. It's my biggest complaint about this game. If I could just disable the respawning enemies on cleared floors, I'd really like this game. Maybe there's a way to do that. I don't know if there is, but... It's my biggest complaint. Nine hours of stream, chat. Nine hours of stream today. Like, these guys just respawned. Like, this area was clear. But they fucking respawned. It's like, that's not cool. Don't do that. Makes it seem like less of a roguelike. I mean, there's roguelikes with respawning enemies. I mean, like, I can think of like three off the top of my head that have respawning enemies. It's just not a mechanic I'm super fond of. This game has a lot of very modernized mechanics that would make some people probably call it less of a roguelike, but I think it's okay. It also lets you ignore enough of those mechanics that I don't think it really loses much from it. There is no mercy for you, Dungeon Mans. I'm afraid you've met your match. The only mercy I'll need is the... <laughs> receptive from the pitfall of Wilfings during the ass-kicking you're about to receive. Boop. Okay. Um, let's drop that down. And that down. Um... I might just eat this book. <laughs> Killed him with two shots. Victory upon victory, heap high and pile rifle monument to the might of the dungeon mans. For all the trouble. There'd better be some sparkling loots nearby. Careful not to get too much of the leftovers on your boots. Dead in the form of baddies on the floor. One-handed axe. Boo. Shittier armor than the one I'm wearing. A uh, better mantle. Well, that's good. A mysterious ring. Fancy book. And then a bunch of shitty pole arms. Oh, actually, never mind. There is a better pole arm. Uh, bolster vapor. Mm -mm. Sometimes sets enemies on fire. Good stuff. Should also bolster my new armor. Fight gauntlets are now bolstered. 
plus 5% to block. What else can I give him? Scroll of carefully escaped dungeon is a very funny wording. Four bodyguards by bodyguards. Fight gauntlets. Get your pair today. Uh, my bags are overflowing with stuff. Please identify it. Ring of sharpshooting. Add two melee damage, add two ranged. There we go. Let's just wear both of those. What's the steadfast ring, actually? Plus two foom. Plus 30% knockback and 30% stun. Yeah, I'm going to replace one of my hacker rings with that. Yes, please. Here's some trash gear I'd like you to melt down. All of it. I'll throw it into a fucking fire. Thank you. I do quite like the tunes in this game, though. It's very, like, happy-go-lucky, fancy-pants RPG, but in kind of a good way. Monument of Sin. I think we'll come back here later. Cleared that one. We're in trivial space now. You're just mundane. Just big mountains over here. It's adventurous. Trivial. Let's clear this. Shoot you, walk away a little bit, smack you again, done. The first rule of fight gauntlets is we don't tell anybody about the fight gauntlets. The second rule of fight gauntlets is we really don't tell anybody about the fight gauntlets. I've already killed your boss, guys. town have anything oh also um there's these little items that drop that you can give to the town and uh if you give them if you give the town those items then the towns will get better loot and they'll have better loot on the later runs it's like air quotes it helps their economy <laughs> So you run around fighting for the fighting for the land to save everything from evil and help the economy <laughs> Because those books are expensive. So you can go back to university and pay off your student loans. <laughs> Dungeon Mans! Uh, buy all of my shit. I could do. Let me see what you have for sale. Healing potion, please. Uh, I don't need the mana potions, my bad. Buy all of my mad, non-magical, non-equipped gear. Do that.
Well, you have a pole arm, but it's trash. So. It's mundane. That's also mundane. The Monument of Sin. Do, 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 do. I will say, I think I'm starting to understand how this game works, though. I am starting to figure out how this game works. I mean, it, like, you're the only person to speak in the last 10 minutes, which is kind of the, the line where I'm like, yeah, it's time to... Wind down for the day. There's still plenty of people lurking, though. Like, chat, how many people are lurking? Let's get a round of beers. You're always welcome to rant about Tome, by the way. There is never a time where you're not allowed to rant about Tome in my chat. This game just kind of lends itself to lurkiness, you know? I'm not calling out lurkers. I'm just asking for a round of beers, meaning type in the word beer. I'm not calling anybody out. I can let the lurkers lurk. But just like raise your glass so that we know you're not dead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Type in the word beer. Many languages work. Beer emojis work. HS Cheers works. Many different beer emotes from many different streamers also work. And if you have one that I don't know about, I'll add it probably, unless I hate the person for whatever reason, which is, you know, a me problem, not you. Dungeon man, take me by the... <laughs> All right, thanks for uh, giving me my next title for this stream, by the way. That's my next title. There's a secret around here? Uh. Doo -doo. Bum, 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 bum. Nah, crap. Ah, did I get it? I think I did. Do, 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 do. A book that's titled Learning True Things. Mm hmm. True Things. Sounds tasty. I will eat all of your truth. Every time you say Dungeon Man, why didn't you type that in out loud? Like, what? That is like perfect meme material that we can goof off with that nobody thought of until you typed it in. Bonk. Wanker. Come here, you little slime ball. Slurp, slurp. You typed it the other day? Oh, really? I totally missed it. Boop. You know, I, I find those worker bees really annoying. They'd be a thousand times better if they just built a fucking turret at some point. It would be very funny. I've always wanted to run into enemies and roguelikes that are literally just like the different classes from TF2. Like if I if I was playing a roguelike and then there's just a worker bee, he's like, you know, just building a fucking, building a little like defensive line and then just builds a turret. <laughs> that would just be very funny to me. Plops down a little health kit, starts healing the baddies. Someone should just make a roguelike demake of TF2. 
Someone should just do that. Yeah, exactly. TF2 the roguelike. I, I mean, I, I would just, I would play that. You could just like steal all of, I don't even think Valve would care. They'd probably let you put it on Steam as an official mod, as long as you're not profiting off of it. I feel like that's the sort of thing Valve would be like, yep, okay. I feel like Valve probably wouldn't care. Oh, really? Most of the more helpful guides are written ages ago? Yeah, that's... Fucking monster closets. Have you ever, like, thought about asking people in the chat for help in tome because that's also a thing that you can do oh by the way I, I don't know if it if this makes you feel better or worse but there's somebody from this chat who I have on my steam friends list who recently uh, got came pretty close to hundred percenting one of the difficulties in tome so yeah I was just looking at steam achievements I was like holy shit pirate badgers You really embarrassed to ask why it's a roguelike it's a roguelike with public chat like if you need help with something just ask people for assistance you do need to realize that tome is Kind of like Dwarf Fortress in that there is no stupid questions. Ask questions. People who like that game are generally willing to help. Of course, you'll occasionally get a shitlord, but most people will be like, fuck yeah, man. What do you need help with? You're not affecting their game, so they'll totally help. Another champion potion. Uh... Not a fan of this. Do, 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 do. Um, right. Just popped. I hate these things. <laughs> Thinking about that enemy made me not launch this game the other day. I really need a stamina potion, like stat. I need a book. A not named book. Or just a healing potion too. Never mind. I'm dead. Those guys were real powered up. Wonder if I could have backed up. Defeated by Waddleguts, who is the minion of the great Horace Bogart Potter, slayer of the potato ice cream sandwich. Yes, that. so that that unit that was powered up because they killed potato ice cream sandwich in a piece from previous run. Uh, Reign of Terror. It will, shall avenge, shall I, uh, shall, um, will the Academy be able to stop Horace Bogart Potter's Reign of Terror and avenge his fallen comrades? That was my best run ever, though. Yeah, it's literally the Nemesis system. This game has had the Nemesis system since... Hold on. I, I need to actually, like, fact-check this. Let me check something. Um... Middle-Earth, Shadow of Mordor. What year did that game come out? 2014. Okay. Dungeon Mans. What year did Dungeon Mans come out? 2014, December 9th. 
Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor came out. September 30th. Huh. <laughs> so this game came out like a month after Mordor. So uh, there's no way in hell <laughs> that was lifted out of there. Also, shoutouts to the three tigers on top of each other. That basically like explains this game. I think that was a good run. You know, we, we made progress. We learned. We did stuff. That's, it's not just trademarked. They, uh, they patented it. It's patented. It's more than just trademarked. Was heavily hyped before the release, though? Sure. Yeah, just... I mean, yeah, potentially. I don't know. I, I need to go look and see if it's in the... I, I'm pretty sure he talked about that shit in the Kickstarter, though. Like... Also, this game's been prototyped since, uh, like, 2006? It really is some bullshit, yeah. When was the Kickstarter for this, and did they talk about it? A heroic roguelike adventure. Uh, campaign ended in... Huh. They estimated the delivery March 2014, but they delivered it in December 2014, which is pretty good for Kickstarter, I would say. Yes, they did talk about it in the Kickstarter. But yes, it is bullshit. Here, I'll I'll just link you the Kickstarter. You can go dig through it if you want. But I'm sure that they're good. Or rather, they talk about the Academy, which is what you know, all of the mechanics that this game has are linked to. But then again, the fucking Dwarf Fortress literally is like Nemesis System, the video game, so... Anyway... Because Legends keeps track of kills and powers up things as they get stronger and all that stuff. All of that stuff is literally just in Dwarf Fortress. But, anybody uh, want to listen to some records? You guys want to listen to some records? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stream some records on Discord. If you just pop in, I'll be playing some shit. So, yeah. I don't think I'll do a night stream tonight. Tomorrow morning uh, at uh, noon Pacific time, I will be streaming uh, Halcyon After Hours. I think we're just doing Ticket to Ride, but I'm not entirely certain. So swing by for that. It'll be fun. Uh, it'll be on this channel. Uh, it'll go for two hours. It's going to have some of my teammates on it. I know FG will be there. I think Evil Trick will be there. So we might be there. Jess will be there. Should be fun. Swing by if you get the chance. Uh, Kiri's taking this one off because she's got a sponsored thing. Which is big, cool, and fancy. But yeah, thanks everybody for hanging out. Thanks for all the tips and bits and the fun shenanigans earlier. Uh, thanks for the gifted subs and the hosts and the primary subs and all that shit. There's a new tier coming to the Kickstarter. Um, or not to the Kickstarter, to the Patreon. Bleh. Which B-Lug is programming. Which quite literally is, um, first off, it's going to be stupidly expensive. But uh, second off, uh, it'll literally just let you do text-to-speech whenever you want. There will be some kind of cooldown on it. I haven't figured out the details yet. but It's already listed on the Patreon, but um, it's called Thanks. I, I hate it. You can go find it if you want. 
till then, there's more Dwarf Fortress and stuff up on the YouTube channel than you could ever reasonably watch. Including the first 7 DRL thing that I did. Yeet. There will be more. Send me good ones on Discord, right? Sound good? Let's find somebody I can send you guys to. Or host. That or I'll just let auto host do it. One of the two. Whatever works. Let's see who's on. Who's on? Who's cool? There's someone streaming who I'm like... I have no idea who this person is. <laughs> I follow people who I don't know. Weird. You ever have that happen where you're just like, who the fuck is this person? It's like someone's changed their name a couple months ago and like you just you kind of don't know who it is and you're just like, who are you? I'm gonna send you guys over to Russ. Russ is fucking cool. Just please do me a favor, right? Go throw some beers into Russ's stream. I gotta resub on Russ's channel anyway, so it works. Go throw some beers in there. Tell him I said hi. Russ is cool, right? He's super chill. He's a bit of a clown. Streams SS13 sometimes. Likes Dwarf Fortress. Comments on my videos. So go say hi to Russ from me. Please. Click on that link. Travel through. Say hi. I'll see you guys on Saturday and tomorrow, briefly, for Halcyon After Hours. Have a good night.